adjust and, and where the defender is. And so all the disguise stuff, is, to me, is, is overblown. Um, you know, you, you try to do that. Everybody does on defense. Uh, sometimes, again, they don't, they don't allow you to do that, you know, and that's how the, their system is set up to show your hand. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Anytime a quarterback is a, a quote unquote dual threat guy that can run and pass, extend plays, throw on the run, uh, tuck it and get a first down, it's a very, uh, it's a, it's a tough thing to manage uh, on defense. It's very tough to defend, and. Um, whether, again, we talk about Deshaun Watson, uh, you know, as a coach, you're like to throw it away and then you make these incredible plays. And Joe's done that all year. Uh, again, great, great poise uh, when things break down to keep his eyes down the field. And then the receivers do a, a terrific job at, at getting open and then going up and getting the, the ball and making plays. Maybe more about the best Yeah, we're, we're built, obviously we're built different this year, um, but it takes the players being uh, committed and, and believe in what you're doing, understand what you're doing. We have a very intelligent group of uh, players, enough <coughs> veterans, but particularly in our back seven, uh, guys like Skowski and Smith that even though they weren't starters, they are very involved in our, in our system and our game planning uh, the last few years, and so they're just smart guys, so transitionally, uh, it was easy for them. We had a bunch of guys coming back in the secondary. You got a guy like, you know, Darion Kendrick, who's just a football player. You know, he's uh, he, he's never lost a football game since you know, he, through high school. He didn't lose one, and through his first two years in college, he's not lost a football game. Transitioning from receiver to a corner this year was not a hard thing because he's a great football player, and he's still learning uh, the intricacies of his position. But his instincts and his knowledge and uh, even though our verbiage and everything was different for him, it was easy for him. And um, so th those things help. And then the young guys up front, our coaches have done a terrific job at developing them um, and, and bringing them along and we try to protect them early in the year. And they've improved and gotten better as the year has gone on and gained experience, uh, gotten healthy. And um, and every year is different. You know, and we say that all the time in, in the coaching profession, you got to start over. and. And in some ways, we had to really start over and, and do some, try some things out to uh, to give us a chance and play to our strengths. And uh, you know, again, we've got some dynamic football players. You know, you got a, a, a great one in, in AJ Terrell, a special player, and Isaiah Simmons that can do so many things. A guy, both uh, Tanner Muse and Kayvon Wallace, they bring physical toughness, uh, speed, and athletic ability. And, Kayvon's played every position for us. He's played linebacker, corner, safety, nickel, uh, dime. He's played it all. And, uh, and these are guys that just love ball. They've, they've been very consistent. Uh, gives you a great chance. You know, uh, they've had a great edge to them all year. Uh, a lot of people, you know, thought this was a rebuilding year. Probably us coaches, me included. Like, oh, this going to be a tough one here. And, uh, and these guys have put all that aside and have chosen to be great. And then, you know, again, we've got a great offense. It's very tough to defend. And uh, so it's been a really fun year. Um, no drama. These are, these are accountable, self-driven young people that um, are easy to coach. So it's been a lot of fun. And, and when you give them a chance to, to go out there and play, they, you know, sometimes they surprise you, and, and some guys have. It's what a cool story it is for a guy like Chad Smith that, this is his first year ever starting a football game, and and uh, he's the defensive MVP of the Fiesta Bowl uh, to have a chance to go win the national championship. And I just think that's so cool, uh, and to see the patience. And we have some other guys like that again, whether it's a Tanner Muse or Kayvon Wallace, these seniors that are very invested in our football program uh, means so much to. And uh, that that sometimes can be the difference on any given Saturday when 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 talent matches talent and um, you know where, where these guys just have a, a, a will and a cohesion that you just it's hard to deny. Did Isaiah come to you and want to um, change positions? Isaiah, did he come to you and talk to you about changing positions? That was you know a couple years ago um, 
uh, I think I, I approached him and he said, Coach, I was just thinking the same thing. I said, well, good. Well, you're going to do it anyway. But <laughs> he, uh, you know, he brings such a, a dynamic skill set, you know, with length, size. Um, he's a very disruptive player. So trying to get him in a more of a playmaking position close to the line of scrimmage uh, where, where he can do a lot um, was the idea. Uh, that's a position that's hard to find guys that can do, uh, you know, cover, you know, play in the run, uh, understand zone, have the instincts to, to play at that position, blitz, all of those things. And um, so, you know, his, his season a year ago was like this up until – uh, the last three games were his best three games, and, and the light started to go on. And really, as much as anything else, not only understand his position, but understand the why in the guys around him. And then he's put a lot of time in this year in the summer, uh, really studying our defense and the, uh, the people that he's going to play next to. And uh, that's really let him uh, really just take off as a player.